Hi kindergarten, I'm going to read a story to you about friends again. And this is an old story that I used to enjoy um, my mom reading to me when I was a little girl. It's called Best Friends for Francis. It's written by Russell Hoban and the pictures are by Lillian Hoban. summer morning so Frances took out her bat and ball. Will you play ball with me? said her little sister Gloria. No, said Frances. You are too little. Gloria sat down and cried. Frances walked over to her friend Albert's house singing a song. Sisters that are much too small to throw or catch or bat a ball are really not much good at all, except for crying. Does your little sister ever cry? When Francis got to Albert's house, he was coming out with a large brown paper bag. Let's play baseball, said Francis. I can't said Albert. Today is my wandering day. Where do you wander? said Francis. I just go around until I get hungry, said Albert. Then I eat my lunch. That's a big lunch, said Francis. It's only four or five sandwiches, said Albert, and apples, bananas, cupcakes, and some chocolate milk. Could you eat all that for lunch? Sounds like a lot of lunch to me. Can I wonder too? Said Francis. No, said Albert. You can't do the things I do on my wondering days. Like what? Asked Francis. Snake and frog work, said Albert. Throwing stones at fences, looking for crow feathers. I can do all that, said Francis except the snake and frog work. That's what I mean, said Albert. I'd have to run the whole day showing you how. Then Albert went off to wonder, and Francis walked home slowly, singing, Fat boys that eat too much lunch can't do a thing but munch and crunch and play with snakes and frogs. When Francis got home, Gloria said, Will you play ball with me now? You can't bat and you can't catch, said Francis. I can if you stand close, said Gloria. All right, said Francis and she played ball with Gloria. The next morning, Francis went to Albert's house. Albert was playing ball with Harold. Can I play? said Francis. She's not much good, said Harold to Albert. And besides, this is a no girls game. All right, said Francis. Then I will go home and play a no boys game with Gloria. Mr. Fat Albert, so ha 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 ha. Frances walked home, and as she walked, she sang, Boys to throw and catch and bat are all the friends that Mr. Fat Albert will have from now on. He will not have me. When Francis got home, Gloria said, How did you play so fast? It was a fast game, said Francis. You're lucky that you have a friend to play with, said Gloria. I wish I had a friend. I thought Ida was your friend, said Francis. Ida's away at camp, said Gloria, and she only plays dolls. She never wants to catch frogs. Can you catch frogs? said Francis. Yes, yeah, said Gloria. I can show you. Later, said Francis. Do you want to play ball? All right, said Gloria. If any boys come, they can't play, 
said Francis, and I think I will be your friend now. How can a sister be a friend, said Gloria. You'll see, said Francis. For frogs and ball and dolls? Yes, said Francis. And will you show me how to print my name, said Gloria. Yes, said Francis. Then you will be my best friend, said Gloria. Will it just be today or longer? Longer, said Francis. And today we will have a picnic. There will be songs and games and prizes and no boys, said Francis. Mother helped Francis and Gloria get everything ready and packed in Francis's wagon. Francis and Gloria set off. In the wagon were a picnic lunch in a hamper, two burlap sacks for the sack race, an egg for the egg toss, and a jar with two frogs for the frog jumping contest. Do you like to catch frogs? Have you ever caught a frog? Then Francis made a sign that said, Best Friends Outing, No Boys. They held the sign and Francis sang, When best friends have an outing, there, there are jolly times in store. There are games and there are prizes. There is also something more. There is something in a hamper some, that is very good to eat. When best friends have an outing, it's a very special treat with no boys. Francis and Gloria passed Albert's house. What's in the house pamper? said Albert, running out of his house. I don't know, said Francis. Nothing much. Hard boiled eggs and fresh tomatoes, carrot and celery sticks. Some cream cheese and jelly sandwiches, I think. Salami, pepper and egg sandwiches, ice cold root beer, watermelon and strawberries and cream for dessert. There are salt and pepper shakers and napkins and a check tablecloth, which is the way girls do it. Could I come along on the eating? said Albert. I'm, you mean outing? said Francis. That wagon looks heavy to pull, said Albert. You'll get tired unless I help you. Mm, I don't know, said Francis. You can see from the signs that this is a no boys outing, and it is only for best friends. What good is an outing without boys, said Albert. It is just as good as a ball game without girls, said Francis, and maybe a whole lot better. Can I be a best friend? said Albert. I don't think it's the kind of thing you can do, said Francis, and it would ruin my whole day to have to show you. I can do it, said Gloria. I can be a best friend and I can catch frogs too. I can catch frogs and snakes, said Albert. Let him be a best friend, said Gloria, and he can show me how to catch snakes. I'll get my snake pillowcase right now, said Albert. Well, I'm not sure, said Francis. Maybe you'll be best friends when it's lunch in the hamper time, but how about when it's no girls baseball time? When we're best friends, there won't be no girls baseball, said Albert. Hmm. All right, said Francis, and she crossed out the no boys on the sign. Then they started off again. Albert pulled the wagon and Francis and Gloria carried the sign. The outing place was at the tree on the hill by the pond. First, Albert caught a snake for Gloria and then they played games. Gloria won the sack race. Francis won the egg toss. Albert won the frog jumping contest with a fresh frog from the pond. So everybody won a prize. Then Francis made up a party song and everybody sang it. Look at the snake coming out of that pillowcase. 
When the wasps and the bumblebees have a party, nobody comes that can't buzz. When the chicks and ducklings have an outing, everyone has to wear fuzz. When the frog and the snake have their yearly clam bake, there's plenty of wiggling and hopping. They splash in the pond and the marshes beyond, and everyone has to get sopping. And at the best friend's outing, said Albert, everyone has to eat, don't they? Yes, said Francis and Gloria. They opened the hamper. I'm not sure we can eat it all, said Francis. That is what best friends are for, said Albert. And he gave Francis and Gloria a ride in the wagon all the way home. Did I skip a page? No. No. Oh. The next day, Albert came over with a bunch of daisies for Frances. What are the daisies for? She said. Well, we're best friends now, and I'm a boy, said Albert. That makes me your best boyfriend. So that is why I brought you daisies. Thank you, said Frances. Then Gloria sat down on the steps and cried. Why are you crying, said Frances. Now you have Albert to be your best friend, said Gloria, and you won't be mine anymore. Yes, I will, said Frances, and I will give you half the daisies Albert gave me. So Frances gave Gloria half the daisies, and Gloria stopped crying. Then Harold came over, and everybody played baseball. Gloria, too. of the story. It's fun to play games.